Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest with me. Hi. Today's video, we're gonna be doing something really fun. I saw you guys really liked the Truth or Dares on my latest update, but I actually really liked it. It was like really funny because we were like doing Truth or Dares for like a sex edition. Mm -hmm. So we were like asking each other like sexual questions, like have you like gotten horny while you're working? Like, have you ever gotten turned on at work or? Oh. What did you What did you do about it? Mm. You just sit there. <laughs> and just, just, you just accept reality. How, how did you get turned on at work? I don't know. I was thinking about you know play, flashbacks and. and okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think about my grandma. Oh no. And like tweet. puppies oh, and shit. What? That shit made me. That shit turned me off. Oh, oh okay. yeah. That's how you get on your bro. Bro, bro. <laughs> <You're sorry. laughs> So I want to do something similar, but I want to do something fun where you guys can also get to know us better. If you guys don't know who Jenna is, I will post all her social links down below so you guys can subscribe to her channel, her Twitch, all of that. So I'll have everything in the description. Oh, you should tell them what you're doing. Oh my gosh, should I do the announcement here? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm the first one. I know. <laughs> Jenna is going to be my first. Violet Waifu, I'm so excited. Cue the celebration music, okay. <laughs> One of my close friends, Ray, literally gave me this idea. I can't take the credit, but I'm gonna be like having like my own team of waifus. So it's gonna be like a bunch of collaborations. So Jenna's gonna be, don't, you guys gotta better get used to Jenna on the channel and go subscribe to her channel right now. Yes, Cause she's gonna be having vlogs. You guys saw her on the Disney vlog. I literally forgot about Disney. Yeah, we gotta do another Disney, but this time we gotta ride some rides because last time we were just kind of like eating. <clears throat> That's I think honestly I'm like a sucker for like eating videos of like same McBangs. Oh, oh my god, god, we should do McBangs. McBangs. Okay, we gotta do that for the next one for your channel. Have you done the spicy noodle one? No, no we I should do that with the, with the down. ASMR. Wait. We do not care. <laughs> Forward to shooting myself. Okay. Ah! So do you want to do truth or dare? Uh, truth. Mm. What's your biggest fantasy? Oh, I just snorted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to do like a girl pile like thing. Like I want a bunch of bitches to like pile up on me. You like the sandwich kind of? Kind of. It's like, it's like just this, I just want to be engulfed in a bunch of women. We could all make that happen. Oh we should all get the waifus. We're assembling the waifus. <gasps> Oh my god. You're gonna make me act up. Okay, truth or dare? Truth. Have you ever cheated on someone? Mm, no. Aww. I'm gonna be honest, I'm afraid to cheat on somebody because, like, good karma. <laughs> the least, like, I've done, like, I guess, is it, I guess I did in some way. I didn't have sex with them, but I just, like, I was just talking to somebody else. I've never gotten the chance to cheat on anyone. Yeah, I don't. We've never gotten a chance. Like I've never. Like I've always been cheated, like cheated on. Yeah, I've never me gotten too. a chance to cheat on someone. I think that's why I couldn't. I couldn't cheat on someone because like the <laughs> core damage it like gave to me was is the reason why I can never do it to somebody else. Like why cheat on me? I cook. What's the biggest misconception about you? Misconception is that I'm. I don't know. It's probably like for a lot of like performers is that we're not funny. I was like of course sexy, and then I the pandemic happened. I started posting. Skits more because mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that's what I actually love doing too. Aside, okay. Are you on TikTok? On my TikTok, and then people are like, "Wow, you're actually funny." I was like, oh, <laughs> "I'm offended. I am hilarious." <laughs> they're like just so used to us naked on camera that like, we're like, we're desensitized. Like they're just like we're not human. Like so human? I know. You poop. You have poop. You have like. You I have laugh. bathroom problems. I laugh. We do not. Ooh, what's your biggest regret? Um, you know what? I've learned not to have regrets. Okay. Because if I didn't have regrets, I feel like my path, kind of like the butterfly effect, would be like my life would be so different than it is right now. So I don't want to regret anything because everything's a lesson. Do you regret anything? I regret starting my career in Florida. <gasps> I started in Florida. I regret starting Wait, in Florida. Why? Why? Because. There are certain things like my career could have went in different ways had I started in LA and not Florida. And there's like some things that happened in Florida that weren't supposed to happen, but happened because of certain directors out there. Mm -hmm. It's like party so, scene over there. Which I'm fine with the party scene, but yeah. it's a lot that what goes on at the party. 
parties. Oh, yeah. Like the industry parties. Maybe in we could do a separate video talking about the truths <laughs> about the industry. I'm down for that. Yeah, because you know, a lot, of, like, a lot of people have misconceptions about what is in the industry. And like, I feel like having more than just one person, we can tell have, their story. Yeah. yeah. They think we're drug dealers. Yeah. Not drug dealers, they drug addicts. Drug addicts, prostitutes, um, yeah. alcoholics. They think we're dirty. Yeah, I'm here to set the bracket straight. Yeah, I can. am not. If you guys want to see that, out. yeah, no, no, no. I honest, I don't even smoke. I don't drink. Like you guys are seeing me, I'm <laughs> sipping on some collagen jellies right now. Like, like they think we're all like just not like-minded or like they're just stupid. That we're, yeah, you know, I feel like the most successful girls are like really the educated. Smart girls. Yeah. yeah. Not saying that I mean, not everyone is, but like, you know, there's bumbleheads in like every industry, not just like bubbleheads. No, I can have those moments <laughs> too. Real life. But that's like what in school we have those. I feel like people like when I used to work at Target, there was a lot of like people I'm like, how do you even like? You worked at Target. I used to work at Target. I worked like in the morning shifts. So like, oh. I didn't really deal with a lot of people, but people were just assholes in the morning. I've never had a normal job. Really? <gasps> I think the only normal job was working on the farm, but that was like oh, family cute. stuff. So oh. like, it's not really a job job. That was fun for me. I've never had a regular corporate job. Oh God. Like, like I, working for McDonald's or anything. I worked at the most random jobs. Forever 21, H&M. Forever 21. All the bad bitches worked at Forever 21, though. <laughs> I did work at Hot Topic for a minute. I worked at Box for Lunch. For a minute. And got fired. What's Box Lunch? It's like, it's like, um, uh, it's like a, it's like a cousin to Hot Topic. So they have like super nerdy stuff, but it's not as emo. It's like the hippie version. Alternative. Well, I have to Google this, but I never... Oh my god, you gotta go to Box Lunch. If you like Hot Topic, you'll love Box Lunch. It's like nerd okay. heaven. They have like Disney stuff. They have anime stuff. They have Hello Kitty. This is okay. not a sponsorship, but Next anyway. trip. I'm gonna say your biggest fear, but what are your fears? Do you have any? I try not to have a fear. Cause you know they say, no, cause if you fear, what you fear is what you attract. Mm. Is that why when I, like I'm afraid of lizards, when I go to Hawaii, there's lizards all over the like place where I'm staying. Mm -hmm. They're literally not there the first night, and then like I'm like checking for them. That's, you see, that's the universe. And then they like pop up the next day, and I'm like, fuck, I have to sleep in the car now. Yeah, no, that's the universe. No, I, I have a legit fear of heights. That's why you'll never catch me at Six Flags. I'm just gonna have to be on Six Flags. Oh, hell no. You could, I could go to the Justice League, right? And, but the food there is horrible. At Six Flags? Yes. I've never eaten there. Actually. Oh my God. I went, I was like, I'm hungry because I went the whole day without eating. I was like, all right, let me go to, let me go to Six Flags. Let me see what they have. There was a chicken sandwich that we waited. We do not. No. It's literally Sunday. Wait, a renaissance fair? Yeah. Like medieval, like almost like Bridgerton back in the day. What the hell? I don't even know. That's really I feel horrible. like that's something that you would like go to. I would love to see people dressed up. And you like, have to dress up though. You can be a winch. You could literally buy a bustier and then put like a dress underneath and then there's your costume. I have a court, I have a waist trainer. <laughs> you have to wear like a, you have to get the undergarment though. You can't just wear the wave shirt. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know nothing. We'll the whole thing. Okay, we'll plan it. I think they're having it till like the end of May. Oh, okay, cool. Because I have a K-pop concert on Sunday. Did you just say a cape? K-pop. Oh. I was like, I have to go. I'm gonna go see twice. I don't know if you've heard of it. I have. But I haven't seen any of the K-pop artists. Um, no, I don't, I don't listen to K-pop. I haven't listened to K-pop since I was in high school. But the thing is, I'm babysitting my, my cousins. So, <laughs> I don't know what to expect, to be Aww. honest. Oh my god. <laughs> Out of out of SpongeBob and Patrick, Patrick's my favorite. Same, that's what my friend calls me, Patrick. I love Patrick. Tell me why his parents in the new season, they look nothing like him. Oh my god, I hate this new SpongeBob. It's I don't so watch it weird. because I'm like, oh my, I watched who are it? these people? Like randomly in the hotel. Like, I was like, what the f what did they, they fucked up Rugrats. They fucked up SpongeBob. Like, what are they doing? And as much as I love Patrick, when they made the spin off, I was like, that's not gonna go over well. Um, let me see, I'm gonna get a good one for the last one. <laughs> we can wrap the whole monster. Some, like musical outbursts. Have you ever tasted a booger? What? Probably as a kid, yeah. But really? not as an adult, yeah, because I wanted to know. Kids I, do it, they just like pick their nose and they're like, 
I've never. <laughs> I've always like wanted to, but I just never did it. It was like the slimy one. I can't do the <gasps> hard one. I, I would like, rather try the hard one than the slimy uh, one. What if we get some new teeth? Oh, you nasty ass bastard! You fucking nasty ass motherfucker! That's nasty, man! Ow! Okay, okay, I mean, that was just a prank question. I just wanted to know for real. <laughs> yeah, as a kid, I, I have, definitely have. Um, I even squished my own poop. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I didn't know it was poop, though, when I squished it. That was a chocolate bar. Are you serious? <laughs> I was in the pool and my pants <gasps> came off and, like, the turd was like floating around the pool and I was like oh a chocolate bar and I grabbed it and like I squished it <laughs> okay I thought you were gonna do something else with it no I just squished <laughs> it okay okay no. that's not that bad that's not that bad is this nigga serious I think we're gonna end it here you guys I think it's been enough if you guys want to see more of Jenna on the channel comment you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video bye